I was a teenager back in 1991. I can remember being very happy together with my youth group when we heard about the bomb that Chiara launched in Brazil. Chiara was taken aback in San Paulo when she saw the spiky skyscrapers owned by the rich and surrounded by the shanty homes of the poor. She immediately called on the entrepreneurs and proposed an action of producing shared profits with them. She asked them to help by investing small donations from many people to create businesses next to the little towns, so give work to their inhabitants. Any profits were to be shared with those in economic need and to create a system of holistic human formation. This proposal of a new style of business and economy was exactly what we'd been looking for. We didn't know what we were going to expect to find when we started out all those years ago. The pioneers were fundamental in the development of the economy of communion because they were the ones who welcomed this prophetic idea that Chiara had and put it into practice with great radicality and generosity. Those who find themselves in economic difficulties, the recipients of a part of the profits, are not viewed simply as people who are helped or as beneficiaries of the business. Instead, they are essential members of the project, within which they share their needs as a gift to others. They too live the culture of giving. We realize that there are no caregivers, beneficiaries or users. To contribute to poverty reduction, we must look at people in vulnerable situations with all the issues that surround them in a complex way. We must see through the eyes of these people with a careful and respectful gaze at their condition, their situations of hardship, marginalization and exclusion. One of the ways EOC helps the disadvantaged is by sponsoring some young people through their college education. One such scholar is Mary Ann Aquino, who is one of five siblings living in Suliap, a housing project in a social center. With financial assistance from the EOC, Mary Ann was able to finish her course in education and pass the government licensure exams in 2017. I would like to say to young people, if you have the passion to create a company in community, then get prepared, don't hesitate. We want to assure you that we, the first entrepreneurs, are here to support you, to help you. For the past two years, Kern and I have decided to combine our time and efforts to encourage and accompany Bellamy and Samuel in their project, creating a music recording studio and production brand for artists. Culture Business Fellowship are the grounds on which Belazique's entrepreneurial foundation is built. We are ready for this culture to cross borders. You know that in relay races, you win relay in the changeover zone. That's in those 35 metres where you have to pass the baton. Not too early, not too late. And they both run, the one who hands over the baton, the one who receives it. This is the phase we're in. As adults, we must not stop running. But young people must also run and we must hand over the baton. Not too early, not too late and without a drop. Otherwise, we'll be disqualified. The economy of Communion International Incubating Network, made up of 15 hubs which are present on three continents, Africa, America and Europe. It is a network that has kept us all connected. We are exchange of views, a shared. We were able to accompany, follow up and train young people with business ideas. And nowadays they have their small businesses that are growing little by little. The challenge for the next 30 years, or even longer, is for the economy of communion to be studied in depth. The future of the economy of communion will be something measurable and tangible, with a strong positive social impact on our local communities. The future of the economy of communion lies in the hands of young people. Faced with the different economic realities that exist today, 
just by being inside, involved with them, not as economy of communion, but being there, we can give our contribution. We can share the culture we have. Our second generation of ELC entrepreneurs has been to create the possibility uh, in terms of the structures to make it more inclusive and also to better define the impact so that EOC can be more easily understood and adopted by more people. We must move forward together, calmly and with confidence, to risk trying new ways, because society today and the pandemic that has shaken us confirms and has posed us with new questions, including in the field of economics. It confronts us with new poverties that need new answers. I must confess that the economy of communion gives me great hope. I believe that if the spirit of communion is kept alive, as we have seen from so many experiences, even in our own daily lives, and if businesses remain faithful to their commitment, a powerful response can be given to the challenges of today's world. I believe this, and I believe with all of you. The poor and the young need, first and foremost, your soul, your respectful and humble fraternity, your willingness to live, and, and only after that, your money. I wish that you can continue to be the seed, salt and yeast of a new economy. The economy of the kingdom, where the rich know how to share their riches. And the poor, and the poor are called blessed. Thank you. Grazie.